Good afternoon, this is Bob Iacchino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Talking metals, let's talk gold. Gold tried to put in a rally today, getting up to about 1,214, but gold simply is not responding to renewed geopolitical tensions. Geopolitics was always one of the things that drove gold higher, and we're just not getting that as we see a move down again toward the low of 1202, closing closer to about 1206 on that futures contract. Geopolitics I'm talking about is President Trump accusing China publicly of kind of snuffing out the negotiations between the U.S. and North Korea in terms of the nuclear deal uh, to denuclearize the country. So that is the type of tension, the exact kind of tension that you would expect to see gold spike with. And gold just simply is not responding, is not getting that safe haven bid. The market either doesn't believe gold is effective in this uh, sort of criterion any longer or just doesn't believe it's going to happen. The dollar relationship, however, is still taking hold of gold and seems to be almost the only thing driving gold. The dollar rebounded today, but still looks weak overall. It looks like it might be a sell right here in terms of the dollar index. If not, a couple more rallies will take it to some pretty substantial resistance. The overall short-term trend in the dollar does seem to have turned lower. Remember, the dollar index is mostly a dollar euro story more so than anything else, but the dollar index will respond to it falling against other currencies. That dollar index futures contract that is not traded here at the CME is mostly Euro US dollar and Sterling US dollar with a couple of other currencies thrown in. But the emerging markets can cause that contract to rally as well. And the Chinese Yuan, the Argentine Peso, and the African Rand all fell pretty hard. This is renewed emerging market tensions that we saw kicking off really with the Turkish Lira, Argentina now and Brazil. Both have raised our interest rates quite a bit to try and stem the fall of their currency. But as I mentioned, the peso fell even more, and that will rally the dollar index simply because of the effect of the dollar rally versus these currencies. And that, again, puts pressure on gold. As long as the dollar is rallying and there's no convincing geopolitics, and there is still a reason to hold gold if there's geopolitical tensions. Another geopolitical tension we had overnight was Iran renewing threats about the Straits of Hormuth, which drove crude oil prices a little bit higher. Until gold responds to some of these things, you just have to look at the dollar. The dollar was stronger today. Gold was weaker today. This is Bob Icino talking precious metals, specifically gold, from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.